ओम ज्ञान सिमृंद से ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मुत तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवाश श्री सागरजात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्णचैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरे नमो महाबलान्याय कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्णा चैतन्य नामने गौर ऋषे नम पंचतत्वात्मक भक्तस्वक भक्ता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्त श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदाद्वैतागदाधर श्रीवास गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद से अतोन्वयादित चार्थे सुभिज्य स्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय अदिकव मुह्यूर तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिम यृसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तुहक सत्यम परम धीमह नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्तिस्तु विश्व खला प्रसीदता ध्यां तो भूता शिव मिथो धिया मन भद्रम भजता दधोक्षजे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर थर्टी फाइव वर्सेज एट एंड नाइन सो दिस इज कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ युगल गीत गोपीज रिमेम्बरिंग कृष्ण इज पास टाइम इन द प्रीवियस वर्स वी रेड how the rivers they stop their flow by hearing the sound of the flute so there is statement atmat manyate jagat everybody thinks the world according to their own concept it is also said those who are uttam bhaktas 
दस एवरी वन एल्स एज भक्त सर्वभूत सेवाप्रसाद भगवत भाव महात्मा सो गोपीज आर ग्रेट डिवोटीज दे आर द टॉप मोस्ट डिवोटीज सो फॉर दैम एवरीबडी इज अ डिवोटी बर्ड्स एनिमल्स ट्रीज क्रीपर्स बट हियर इन वृंदावन इट इज नॉट जस्ट देर इमेजिनेशन इट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू इन अदर प्लेस इज इट कुड बी जस्ट वंस इमेजिनेशन दैट वन थिंग्स लाइक दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस ओन कॉन्सेप्ट सो पॉलिटिशियन थिंग्स अदर सर ऑल्सो पॉलिटिशियन बट डिवोटी थिंग्स डिवोटीज सो बट इन वृंदावन एवरीबडी इज अ डिवोटी एंड एवरीबडी इज इन लव विद कृष्ण सो ऑल दो इफ यू रीड समथिंग लाइक दिस इन अदर्स बुक्स ऑफ पोएट्री लाइक कालिदास भावभूति हर्ष ऑल दिस ग्रेट पीपल दे इमेजिन लाइक दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब लाइक दिस बट देर इट इज ओनली एन इमेजिनेशन but here in case of bhagavatam it is not just imagination but it is fact because krishna's achinta shakti is internal potency yoga maya pervades vrindavan so that's why in the beginning we read that it is yoga maya and yoga maya can do aghatan ghatan patiyasi who is expert in doing things which are otherwise impossible so this is one major difference between the lokik sahitya and alokik sahitya that similar description you can also find not that you can find but you will find but there it is poet's own creation and because poet is like that he has of course he has power to imagine like that naratvam durlabham loke kavittam सुदुर्लभन इट इज़ वेरी रेयर टू गेट ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड अमंग ह्यूमन बींग्स मोस्ट रेयर इज टू बी ए कवि दिस इज द अल्टीमेट कोर्स इफ यू आर कवि एंड डिवोटेड दैट इज बियॉन्ड दैट सो देर फॉर दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन शुड नॉट बी जस्ट अंडरस्टूड एज सम काइंड ऑफ poetic imagination but every everybody here in raj is a devotee we know that another thing which is to be noted and very important point is that in the material world you will not see something like this where women can come together and glorify one man whom they love this won't happen they will only fight and attack each other because in the material world this matsarya jealousy is all pervading next to bhagwan next to parmatma the most pervasive thing in human society is Enemy. matsarya so this is common and here it is shown that how this is not in vrindavan that is the speciality of vrindavan this is a place free from and we jealousy all this because you can you can get rid of other things this is most difficult thing to give up so that is important to learn because this is a very big obstacle and we create a lot of offenses because of that and offense is a big blockage to one's progress in bhakti so that is also the undercurrent of all these prayers what we see that how they come together and they relish so this is how devotees enjoy association of devotees because there is a complete unity of heart which is not possible here in the material world in material life but not possible in the material world means non devotees so in non devotee life this is not possible no matter how much friendship unity you see 
So this is one of the feature of Shastra trying to teach this, whether you see Mahabharat, the story of the Pandavas, Kauravas, so to show that how they were united. And that is because they are devoted to Krishna. Because unity is possible when there is one common goal. In the material world everybody is an independent unit, disjointed. And the only thing which can unite us is if we unite under the shelter of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Otherwise there is no unity and therefore there is no love. So that's why unconditional love is not to be found in the material world. So that is the unpleasant, bitter reality of the material world. So this is most important thing to be learned from Bhagavatam. And that's why Bhagavatam starts with this qualification that if we want to understand Bhagavatam, then we have to give up this Matsarya. Otherwise, Bhagavatam is not understood. And this Matsarya goes at many, many levels. So this should be constant guard for a sadhaka. Because it is easy to see in others, but to see in oneself is very, very difficult. And then even if you see it, it is most difficult to take care of it. But only you can take care of it, nobody can take care of it. Others can only tell you, inform you. It is you who have to work on that. So that's why bhakti is not something easy process. It is hard work. This is the fight. So that fighting spirit is necessary. So let's read. Anucharai samano varnit virya adi purushai vachal bhuti Vanacharo giri tate sucharantir venuna vayati gahasaya dahi Vanlatas taravat mani vishnum vengente vepuspe faladhyaha Pranata bhara vitrapa madudhara prema hishtatana versus vijus maha So the gopis are saying that Anucharai samanu varnita virya Adi Purusha Iva Achala Bhuti Vanachara. So Krishna is described here as Vanachara, jungle man. So jungle? Jungle. He is a forest person. Vanachara. One who wanders in the forest. Vanchara is generally used for forest animals, they are called vancharas. So Krishna is also called here as vanchara because he is a real forest person. Because all the women imagine that Krishna is living in some palace, this, that. There is no palace in Vrindavan, you can do your all Leela Smarana <laughs> like that. But the reality is that it's just a forest. So it is pure forest life, therefore Bhagavatam says that he is Vanachara. In Sanskrit the word should be Vanachara. So Saptami Aluksamas. But here it is made as Vanachara. So this Vanachara person, he is being praised by his friends. Anuchara means servant, but here it means not servants, but Anu Paschat Charati. So there is, he is a Vanchara and then people around him are Anuchara. So here everybody is a Chara. <laughs> chara Dhatu has two meanings. One is to eat, other is to walk. Chala Chara, same meaning. 
So he is Vanuchara and he has Anucharas. And then there are cows which are Gochara. Or Trinuchara, they are eating the grass. They also wander. So he is being, this Vanuchara is being praised by Anucharas. Because they love him. This is not because he is some great powerful person having some position and people praise that to get some benefit. No, not like that. There is nothing. He is barefoot. He doesn't even have shoes. Right? There is no umbrella if it rains. <laughs> Stands under a tree because where will be umbrella? In bridge from where? There is no industry here to give you an umbrella. <laughs> So if it rains, the only thing they had umbrella was Govardhan. When it rained, he lifted Govardhan. Right? He did not say, come take umbrellas from me. So he is being praised by them because they are all in love with him. They really love him. And this is the real opulence. All other opulence is cause of envy. See how much envy was there between Pandavas and Kauravas. Because of what? Wealth. But here there is nothing like that. Although he says that in the Gopi Gita, I mean the Gopi Gita we said that Jaitite Dhikam Janmanavraja Shrayata Indira Sashvat Atrahi That there is eternal Indira here. Indira means Lakshmi opulence. But it is not that kind of opulence as we imagine. So Samanu Varnita Virya, his Virya, his prowess, his pastimes, his great works, they are being described by them and it is Anu Varnita, they are describing in order from his birth onwards and describing them very nicely. Samanu Varnita Virya means they are singing. Maybe they are composing also some songs, poetry about his pastimes. Because these coward people, they have all the abilities. So they are also singing with music, tala, with beat and everything. Maybe they are dancing also in front of him while singing. Because this is what they do, they are play, they have no anxiety of anything. It's not they have some special work to do, go to office, nothing like that. <laughs> there every day is a picnic. Go to forest, play, come back, sleep, go again. So therefore Samanu Varnita Virya and they are praising him just like Adi Purushai Vachala Bhuti. So he, he actually has got Ashwarya, although he is Vanachara. Bhuti, Vibhuti means Ashwarya opulence. And this opulence is achala. It is not temporary. In the material world, if you have opulence, that is also temporary. But Krishna's opulence is achala bhuti. And he is like Adi Purusha, or his vibhuti is like Adi Purusha, or he is being praised like Adi Purusha, his Narayana is being praised by his devotees. So, like that. And then he is calling the cows again. So Giri Tateshu is at the foothill of Govardhan. Or the cows, Giri Tateshu Charantir Venuna Avayati. The cows are grazing near Govardhan and they are probably far away. So he calls the cows by playing the flute. In the previous one he was calling them by name. That's why the rivers responded. But now he is calling them by his flute. So, Venuna Avyati Ga Sa Yadahi. So, when he does that, then what happens? That one Latas Tarva Atmani Vishnu Vyanjan Taiva Pushpa Faladhya Pranatabhara Vitpa Madhudhara Prema Hrishta Tanava Sashrijasma. So the creepers and trees of the forest, they 
express Vishnu in them, Atmani Vishnu Vyanjant. So just like Vishnu is there in us, therefore we are alive. Right? Everything functions because of Paramatma's presence. In second canto of Bhagavatam it is described that when the cosmic Purusha was manifested then everybody entered into it but so now Udhatishthata. But the cosmic Purusha did not stand up. So it's only Paramatma which brings life. Because he is the source. Ahamatma Gudakes. Krishna says Sarabhutatam Bhavana. So he is the Atma. Means he is the source of life. So now these creepers and trees, they are expressing the presence of Vishnu in them. How is that? Pushpa Faladhya. So the, they are blooming with flowers and some fruits also. It's not stated what kind of fruits are here, but some fruits are there. We don't know what fruits, there is no mention. Mangoes maybe. or apple? No apple. <laughs> Bananas, papayas, hmm? jackfruit, dates, what's there, there, guavas, berries, hmm? grapes, yeah. So they are all giving the fruits because they want to worship Krishna. And how you worship? You offer flowers. So therefore they are saying pranata bhara vitpa. So they are bowing down. Pranata bhara. They are going down because of the bhara, because of the weight. So the trees, they are not going down because of their own weight, but because of the weight of the fruits. So when fruit is there, the tree goes down. Especially if you have big fruits like bell fruit. Bell also, bell one is there. So, Namanti Falino Vriksha, Namanti Gunino Jana. Suska Vriksha Se Murkha Se Nanamanti Kadachana. So, it is said that the trees, when they become full of fruit, they bow down so that people don't have to work hard to take the fruit. Namanti Falino Raksha and Namanti Gunino Jana. And when someone acquires good qualities, then he also becomes humble. So, humility is the sign of good quality. Vidya Dadati Vinayam, Vinaya Dhyati Patratam, Patratva Dhana Mapnoti, Dhana Dharma Tata Sukham. So, happiness comes because of Vidya, but Vidya, sometimes people become proud, that means that is not Vidya. So just as tree bends down, comes down, when there is a fruit like that, when there is true knowledge, true Vidya, then person will become humble. Otherwise, Vidya Vivadaya, Dhanam Madaya, Shakti Paresham Paripridanaya, Khalasya Sadho Vipritha Metat, Jnanaya Dhanaya, Charakshanaya. So, Khala, a wicked person, he gets knowledge, he wants to just argue with others. Vidya Vivadaya, especially now with internet, it is very common. You write something that ten people jump on your head immediately. To argue with you, right? So this is called Vidya Vivada. That you have petty knowledge, then all you do is Vivada. Quarreling, arguing. But that is not the sign of a true scholar. True scholarship means knowledge is for to benefit yourself, to benefit others. 
ज्ञान आए टू गिव नॉलेज टू अदर्स नॉट विवाद आए सो देर फॉर सज नमंती गुणी नो जना एंड देन अपोजिट ऑफ दैट इज दैट ड्राई ट्री शुष्का वृक्षा से मूर्खा से एंड ए फूल दे नेवर भावना सो देर फॉर नेवर आर गिव विद ए फूल बिकॉज यूल ओनली वेस्ट योर टाइम एंड डिस्टर्ब योर माइंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आर गिव चूज फर्स्ट यू वॉन्ट टू आर गिव अनलेस यू वॉन्ट टू एजिटेट योर माइंड देन गो हैंड so therefore avoid them so these trees therefore they are full of fruits and therefore pranata bhara vitapa their shakha their branches vitapas they are bending down as if they are bowing down to krishna and offering the fruit because the fruit is at the end of the branch right except in case of the jack fruit All other fruits come at the end, so that will go down Krishna's feet, because it is said that Rikt Mani Vina Pasheta, Raja Nam Devatam Guru. That if you go to visit a king, go to visit a devata in temple, or go to visit Guru, don't go empty hand. So Krishna is also devata. He is also guru. कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु इज ऑल्सो राजा इज ऑल थ्री राइट इज द प्रिंस इज वज राजकुमार सो देर फॉर डोंट गो सी हिम विद एम्प्टी हैंड्स सो द ट्रीज दे आर ऑफरिंग देयर फ्रूट्स एंड फ्लावर्स एट हिज फीट दैट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस एंड देन मधुधारा There is also a stream of honey flowing from them, as if they want to do an abhishek for Krishna. So, prema hrista tanavaha sasrajusma. So, all this, why this is happening? It is because of their happiness out of prema. So, you can also become happy because you achieve something for yourself. and here prema is happiness by giving happiness that's how prema works so the trees they manifested all this out of great bliss and great happiness so prema hrista tanava sasrijo because of love they are manifesting the symptoms of love and then there is a stream madhu dhara the honey is flowing from them and the fruits so this is how they are describing the love of the trees and creepers सो नदी नामनादि सिद्धाना अचेतन देवताूपण का वर्ता स्वह परस्वो दृष्ट जन्मना अति निकृष्टा जड़ा रसिकता वेणुश्रवण हेतुका पश्यत सो ना इट इज लिटल बिट problematic for the commentator because rup go jeev go uh, sorry vishnath chakravarti thakur is making a kamutya after each couplet because he started with the devis then human beings then animals then he came went to the river and now he comes to the trees so generally trees are superior to rivers right trees have more life they can cut they can grow so this seems to be a break 
in the flow of his Kamutya Nyaya. So therefore he does a trick here to maintain the Kamutya. So he says that Nadi Namna Di Siddha Nama He says that these Rivers, they are achetan, they are unconscious. Trees have consciousness. This is a proven fact. So therefore trees are superior. So why the trees are coming after the rivers in the descending order? They should have come after the, before the rivers. So he says, no, because these rivers, they have their devatas. So Ganga river have Ganga Devi, Yamuna river has Yamuna Devi and they are conscious beings. So therefore they came first. So at the Adi Bhautika level, level, there are three manifestations, Adi Bhautika level, Adi Daivik level and Adhyatmic level. So Adi Bhautika level is what you see the river now. Yamuna river, that is the Adi Bhautik form of Yamuna. And then Yamuna is also deity as a woman, that is the Adi Daivik form. And then she is a spiritual person, so that is the Adhyatmic level. So he says that because they also have the Adi Daivika, Devata Rupena, Kavartha. So he says what to speak of the rivers who have a presiding deity as a devata, that even trees and creepers who were just born few days ago, he says, Swa Paraswa Drishta Janmana. They were somewhat born yesterday, you know, day before yesterday. They are also manifesting symptoms of love for Krishna by hearing the Venu flute. So, Jada Nam Rasikta Venu Shravan Hetuka. So, even they are experiencing Bhakti Rasa who are actually Ati Nikrishta. They are the lowest. There is nothing lower than that. Maybe you can go to the stone after that. So, but because of hearing the flute, they are also experiencing Bhakti Rasa. So, this should inspire us that if it is possible for trees, why not for us, we are human beings. So, therefore, gopis are saying, Pashyata, look, iti anyahu, and then she speaks this verse that Anucharai samanu varnit virya adi purushaiva achala bhuti. Anuchara is Gopai. Anuchara means here the cowherd people. Adi Purusha Narayana. So Adi Purusha is Narayana. Eva Nishchala Shri. So Krishna has stable wealth like Narayana. Yadapi Vanacharaha Vanya Jeevashu Anuragat Iti Bhava. So why Krishna is called Vanachara here? because he has great love for the forest dwellers. Vanya means those who are found in the forest. So Jivashu Anuragat. So that's why he loves to go to the forest. He naturally likes the natural nature. Some people love nature, some people like cities. So he is nature person. So he feels very happy to be there. Therefore he is called here as Vanachara. Tada Grihastha Vaishnava Sastri Kayatha Sankirtan Shravnene Bhavanto Bhutva Pranamanti Tathai Vanalata Striya Tarvastha. Then he is describing how the Vanalata Tarva they manifested this. Vishnu within themselves. So he said just like he is comparing because Lata and Taru they are coming together. Lata means creeper and Taru means tree. So generally what happens that the creeper 
take shelter of the tree to go up, right? It goes around. So you, you see the creeper is as if the creeper is embracing the tree. The tree is like the husband and creeper is like the wife. So she is embracing the husband. So he says that it is just like the grihastas, husband and wife. So husband and wife they do they hear kirtan together, Sankirtan Sraunena. And then by hearing kirtan they experience bhava. So devotee couple hears kirtan and experiences bhava. Like that the creeper and tree they hear the flute and not only fruit they also heard the cowherd boys who were Samanu Varanita Virya they were describing Krishna that is Kirtan right Guna Kirtan Leela Kirtan Nam Kirtan Rup Kirtan so they were all doing that so they heard this Kirtan and then they are full of bliss just like the Grihastha devotees so here also the word Lata is being used first and Taru is coming later on. Vana Lata Tarva. His gopis are speaking. They are ladies. So ladies first. Right? Because in Sanskrit it is not that only living beings have gender. Even others have gender. Trees, rivers, stones, everything has gender, Sanskrit. Why? Because in the spiritual world it is like that. So therefore creeper is female and tree is male. So therefore they did not say tarulata. They could have also said one tarulata. What is the harm? And they are saying one lata taruva. Because they want to speak the ladies first and they are ladies themselves so they are <coughs> comparing themselves to them that just as they are there listening and happy I wish we wish that we would have been there so one lataha striyas tarvas tatpate so therefore forest creepers are the women and tarus tarus this Trees, you know, so the word tree in English, Sanskrit taru, taru became tree in English. So tree is the husband. Atmani, Mansi, Vishnu, Spurantam, Venjante, Gyapyante. So it is as if Lord Vishnu or Krishna is manifest in their mind. So generally trees do not have mind, but it is like that. And they are expressing it. Means if God becomes manifest in you, then like you see the description of Narada Rishi, he was meditating and then Krishna appeared in his heart. So how blissful he became. Right? And then when he suddenly disappeared, how distressful he was, he was searching, then he heard the sound that Durdarshoham Kuyogi Nam, that I am not available to the Kuyogis. So like that, the creepers, as if Krishna has manifest in the, inside them, because they cannot see, they may be far away, they don't really see Krishna, so they don't have the eyes. So as if he has become manifest inside them and now they are manifesting their bliss in the form of flowers, fruits, honey going down. That is the manifestation of their devotion. So Gyapyante, this is how they are expressing as if Vishnu is or Krishna is in their heart. Asro tulya madhuno makrandasya dhara sasraju mucho. So the honey is compared here like the 
stream of tears Shri is also one of the Satvik Bhavas so as if tears manifested from the trees out of love Pushpa Faladhya Pushpena Harsa Sancharina and the flower signifies expression of harsa, happiness just like when you are happy and your hair stand on the end that is like the flowers blooming in happiness and falena ratisthaina and the fruit is expressing the bhav because you do sadhana bhakti so then expresses bhav bhav sadhya So that is the result, the outcome. Rati is thai bhav. Chavirajmana. This is how they appeared. Pranata bharena vitapa shakhayasam iti anubhava. And then the branches, they are bending down. So this is the anubhava. Because of the sthai bhav. Pranama premna hrishta. Roharsha Yukta Stanvo Ye Samtaiti Romanja. And then out of love they are bound down. And the Rom Harsha, there is manifestation of happiness in the form of hair standing on the end. That is the significance of Romanja. So in English also you have romance, romantic, right? So in Sanskrit also we have the word romanch. It is related with that. Romhars. Sudhgoswami's father's name was Romharshan. Because when he will tell the stories, People's hair would stand on the end, he will tell such nice stories. So his name became Rom Harshana, or who makes your hair stand on the end. So that is the end of commentary. There was not much any question, otherwise we move to the next sloka. Anybody has any? But Mahabhati, I assume that the trees also have a adidaivic form, right? Trees? Or don't they have? Did not describe here. It's not described that they have. In Europe they have, right? They have the small like guys, what are they called? The small guys in the forest? Gnomes. Dwarfs. Dwarfs. Those they are the deities of the trees. Every tree has got their, their own Atma because river is one. So there is a Devi for the river, but then for there are so many mango trees, then you have to have one or separate, separate for them. Maybe there is one Amra Devata somewhere. Mango god. But I have not heard that. Okay. Raghav. Obeisas is Pandit. Uh, you said that you can also be happy, be uh, that you can become happy because of something you achieve uh, here in this world. And in other lectures, you said that that every 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 emotion is actually also the good ones, happiness, joy, uh, peace that comes actually from avidya. Only in the Kamsa lecture, you said it this thing that it, it, it comes from avidya only. And now you said that because they were referring, referring of course to spiritual happiness, which is unknown to me. But it's pretty shocking that the only good things we may know here come also from Avidya. This is shocking to you? Yeah. But not depressing? Depressing too. Okay. 
<laughs> so then you are in the right place. Read first chapter of Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> okay. Another thing is that you said that now mentioned that even the stones have a gender, uh, but but now they said that there is more than 80 genders. You know, like like for example, uh, man from 12 to 3 p.m. from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I change to woman, 6 p.m. to 8 I change to man. These kind of things or be no, sexual no, but, at that. They may change, but they still male or female. It's only two or or neutral gender. They may change it and then they give a different name, how frequently you change. Then you can have a name so, for that. But at one point in time, they are either male or female or neutral. Oh, right? Okay. And the, the last thing was that Baba told me about, the because I couldn't see that lecture, that the, the lila of, the, of some man Shelling down the, the, their dotties, and, and this of course happened to me also, as you know. And, and but they were not dancing. That's the difference, right? Which one was that? <laughs> that that the, the dotty fell. When the gopis and the, and the husbands they were uh, here the float, both okay, they that is were that is out of love. Okay. In your case, it was not tied properly. <laughs> 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 so that's the difference. <laughs> well, you only okay. told me that story. That's how I remember it. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Padre. Okay. Anything else? Okay, let's read a little more. Darshaniya tilako vanamala divya gandha tulusi madhumattai Alikulai ralaghugita mabhishtam madriyan yarhi sanhita venu Sarasi sarasahansa vihangas charugita rita cheta saetya Harimupasate te yata chitta hanta milita drisho drita monaha so now there is description of Krishna's dress, I mean his ornaments, how he is dressed, how he appears. So these descriptions also describe Krishna's appearance, his qualities, his activities and how it influences others. Except one thing which is common in all this sloka is the flute. So he says, Darsaniya Tilaka. So Tilak is a very important part of Indian culture. Now it is, you don't see it so commonly, but in the olden days everybody had some Tilak. In South India you still see more common than North India. Only maybe in some holy places, but if you go to outside, nobody puts tilak. But or originally it was, everybody had some tilak. So Krishna's tilak is very beautiful. Darshaniya. Means, it's worth seeing it. Or it can mean that Krishna himself is Darshaniya and then he is the best of Darshaniyas, Darshaniya Tilak. Tilak also because it is put on the forehead, so it also uh, represents something which is best, that he is the Tilak of this, means he is the best. So means there are many things which are worth seeing and they are called darshaniya. This is the anir pratya of Harinava, Harinavartha Vyakran we are studying now. Kritya's, Vishnu Kritya Pratyas, seven of them. Drisdhatu, anir pratya. Then Govinda, darshaniya. So darshaniya tilaka. So he is the best of persons to be seen. 
So therefore, darsaniya tilaka. Why? Because he is the supreme object of love. If there is any beauty anywhere in this material world, spiritual world, that is because of Krishna. As Krishna describes his vibhuti in the 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, and then he says that whatever grandeur, whatever beautiful you see in this world, know that to be yadi yadvi bhuti mat sattam sri madhur jitam eva tatta deva gachatvam so just know that to be just one little fragment of my power so he is the most beautiful that's why he is called Krishna and he is Sri Krishna and he is with Srimati Radharani and he is more beautiful as it was described Mahamarkato Yatha that Tatra Ate Sushubhe Bhagavan Deviki Nandana Gopinam Madhya among the gopis he appeared more beautiful so he is beautiful and he becomes more de- beautiful when he is with his devotees and among them the best are the gopis and among them best is Srimati Radharani so he is most beautiful so therefore he is Darsaniya Tilaka and then there is a description of his beauty he has one mala he has got the forest garland which has five types of flowers in it and Divya Gandha Tulsi Madhu Mattai so this flowers they have divine fragrance in them and there is especially tulsi in the garland and tulsi is very fragrant but the fragrance of tulsi is divine therefore human beings don't see it we don't see tulsi to be that fragrant because it is only for Krishna but the Madhumattai the Brahmaras the bees they are completely intoxicated by this fragrance of Tulsi and the garland so Alikulair Alaghu Geetam Abhishta Madriyan Yari Sandhitvena so what these intoxicated bees what are they doing first of all they are not one or two there is a whole family of them alikula because they don't move in single units like that they are together if you want to see how to cooperate with others without being envious then look at the bees and ants they are the good example how they are always sticking together so they are alikula therefore it is said that it is alikula so alam in Sanskrit (coughs) means complete enough like you say iti alam this is so it is called ali because they are full so alikula and they are singing they are singing one is that you sing or hear music because you want happiness other is that you sing when you are happy so they are very happy that's why they are madhumattai because they have drunk so much honey from the flowers that they are totally intoxicated and then they sing people also drink because they want to feel happy but once they are drunk then they sing so that comes out now their happiness so like that alikulair madhumattair alikulai so they start singing and alaghu geetam they are not singing some small song but long one or loud one Right? They are, the bees are always singing 
so then this song is very likable to krishna alaghu geetam abhishtam krishna heard this he did not tell the bees to go away you, if you see one or two bee around you you will run <laughs> right try to get rid of the bees but he is not doing that he is listening to their song and he liked it because they were all singing in unison together like a chorus so then krishna was so influenced by that that he started respecting and then he played flute with the same note the notes which were in the songs of the bees the same note krishna is playing with his flute so therefore he says abhishtam adriyan yarhi sandhita venu so then he brought the notes anusandhan like you hear somebody oh this is that note this is this raga and then you play that so he did that and when he did that then what happened must be near a lake somewhere so sarasi saras hans viham hans vihanga charu geet hrit chetas et so they heard this beautiful song charu geet that it attracted their minds completely so they came out from the lake they were all inside the lake the swans and saras the crane whatever doves other birds so they all were very much attracted by the song of krishna's flute so they all came near to him and hari mupasate te yat chitta they came and they stood there as if they are worshiping hari sri krishna hari mupasate how they are doing it yat chitta their minds are absolutely fixed under control and milita drusha they have closed their eyes because if you really want to appreciate music then you only hear and close the eyes otherwise when eyes are open and they are seeing and the music so then it becomes two things so therefore they are milita drusha with closed eyes so that they can only focus on krishna's song and dhrita mauna they are absolutely silent they are on mauna vrata no sound because they are absolutely absorbed in the song of krishna's flute so this is how they are respecting if you are a musician and somebody pays attention to music that is respectful to you if you are singing or you are playing something and people are talking to each other or they are on the phone or texting then you think this guy is not interested you feel insulted by that so these birds they did not do anything like that generally birds if you see they are always chirping doing something so they did not so this is how the birds heard the song and commentary we will read tomorrow stop here raghava what else is there now uh just one thing pandit about humility you mentioned because you uh, well as i understood that you humility is to have a good quality and not be proud of of it mm. that's what what you wrote me years ago and then i understood that but what about humility here in the material world we see people sometimes have great say champions of sports or some other people uh, and maybe they they show some traits of of, of humility or, or what could appear as humility is that another kind of humility or there is only one no this is humility which comes out of devotion what is described here 
So that the, the other is false humility then, or not? Yeah, in the material world also people have qualities, you don't say it is false, but it is material, it is temporary. It's temporary. Thank you, Pandit. Okay, anything else? All right.